Hi everyone, Kalev here from Yes Hello. Think about this. Do you have clients or customers who are kind of annoyed at your customer service team? Maybe they are complaining a little bit too much. Or do you experience sometimes having new customers waiting a little bit too long for your team to reply? So today in this video, we are going to fix the problem of slow replies, annoyed customers, and having too many complaints, right? So if you have any of those, we're gonna solve that today. Stay tuned, intro. Welcome back. Yes, this is Khalif here from Yes Hello. I am the founder and CEO at Yes Hello. We help small businesses just like yours to streamline your customer service, customer support, your pre-sales team so that you can create more revenues and make your customers happy. All right. So in this video, like I mentioned, we are going to solve the issue of slow replies maybe your team are a little bit you know not as motivated to reply super fast and what are the three biggest challenges or three biggest problems that is stopping your team from replying fast also just a reminder at the end of this video i'm going to share with you a worksheet on how to get your team to reply faster within the worksheet there will be guides and step-by-step -step, uh, and also a PDF on how to get started with this. Don't forget to download that at the end of this video. All right, let me tell you a quick story, right? In 2020, something happened to the world. It was the pandemic, right? So everything uh, stalled for a while and then businesses had to adapt. And most businesses, what they did was they were forced to go online, right? And this created a whole movement of um, messaging and um, speedy replies and uh, since everybody had to compete online this gave your customers options and uh, options to to go you know which one is faster right which company is faster which channel is faster and these options gave them this new standard a standard of how fast a company should reply and the standard became faster and faster and faster so there was this research done so what they did was they studied 107 million customer service interactions 107 million right so they are a software aid company and they did the survey of their clients and they realized that the biggest the biggest impact, the biggest impact to customer satisfaction that any uh, company can do is speed. So we know as a fact that speed to reply, speed to solve your customer's problems is the number one thing that can impact that customer satisfaction, therefore impacts the bottom line right so how do we get your team to reply faster so i'm going to share with you the three things the three challenges why most companies are not not replying fast right number one is they're not playing a daily game that means they are just every day just replying and they're not achieving anything daily all right so think about it why is that important well, look at sales, look at other departments. They play a daily game, either the number of closed sales, a number of leads connected with, a number um, of, um, let's say, accounts created, whatever it is, there is a game. But with customer service, because there are so many channels, right? Businesses don't create a game. 
And the game that we recommend that you play is the Inbox Zero game. Let's say you have three team members and all three, all three, their focus is in the day to have their Inbox be zero, right? So how do we have our Inbox be zero? Well, number one, we can solve the problem and then it'll be gone, right? Click done and it'll be gone from our inbox. Number two, if we cannot solve it, is to assign it to a team member that can. So reassign, boom, goes to another person. Uh, inside their inbox, but my inbox is zero. Number three is if you cannot reassign it and it's still up to you to finish it, then maybe you need more info so you can snooze it so that you can follow up at a later date. Right, then come back inside your inbox at a, at a later date. But for today is inbox zero. So play the inbox zero game. Each person plays that game. The whole department has inbox zero at the end. And that will naturally speed up the conversations and engagement with you and your clients. Okay, so mistake number one is not playing a daily game. The best game I recommend is inbox zero. Number two, the problem number two is that there is no monitoring. There's no way for other team members to monitor what other team members are doing. So think about this. If you are not aware of whatsoever, whatever is happening in other departments or other you know, team members' inbox, you are actually working alone. Working alone is working in a silo. And working in a silo sucks. It's boring, it's slow, and you know, you, you, you're lost. You don't know what's happening. Okay, so monitoring is one big challenge. But you might be asking, Khalif, how am I supposed to do it? I'm just using my normal WhatsApp, right? There's no monitoring. I can't monitor another team member's WhatsApp phone. Yes, that is a challenge. So that's why we would recommend finding some tools to assist you to be able to monitor other team members in all channels, right? So how we do monitoring is your team leader will be able to assist you and you will know that your team leader will be able to see what you're doing every day, what, uh, how many messages, um, and in those messages, what are you chatting with? So everything is clear and transparent. That's number one. Number two is your same level team members can also see so that they can learn from you. If you are a person that's been doing this for a while, they can learn from how you do your work every day, how you reply to certain customers, right? Um, how fast you do, th you do things. So when you watch someone, you get to see what works and what doesn't work for them and you can adopt it, right? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people learn that way. I learn that way as well by observing. And not being able to observe slows down your team's learning. And if they are slow to learn, they'll, they'll be slow to reply to clients, right? So there's no monitoring. And think about this. Your team members, if they know that at a scheduled time, your entire team is going to see what you are doing. Will you be doing your job faster or slower? Faster, obviously, right? So if there are, there are people watching, there's an audience, you will work faster. So same with your team members. The lack of monitoring or the lack of a systematic way to monitor is the second reason why your team is slow to reply, right? No pressure. Number three. Number three is reporting. And this reporting, if it's difficult to do, then it's, uh, it's not going to be done, right? So reporting is going to be easy. It's going to be done consistently. And it's going to be clear. It's going to be clear on what is being reported on. So if you know that you're playing the Inbox Zero game and you have team monitorings and helping each other to make sure each team member's inbox is zero at the end of the day. And then at the end of the week, you report, right? Uh, how fast they reply, how many days in a row did they have an inbox zero, and uh, how many people did they did they help. So many things that you could put in the reporting. And if speed to reply is one of the main ones that's being reported, your team will naturally want to be fast. The reason is they don't want to be the reason, <laughs> they don't want to be the cause of why the team's metrics and numbers are lower at the end of the week, right? Because it's very transparent, everybody can see. So if you have a way to report and to show how each person's performance is at the end of the week, at the end of the month, 
another reason why naturally they will want to do it fast and they want to be the reason why the team wins okay so now if you put these three things together right there is reporting there is monitoring and they play a daily game automatically they they will want to reply fast right they are motivated to do every day because they feel good to win every day they feel good to have an inbox zero they feel good to get to monitor and help other people and learn from others and they feel good to be acknowledged at the end of the week that their work is being appreciated by the entire company through the reporting okay so these are the three things you put together implement uh, and it will be awesome and you'll see how fast it becomes uh, a reality okay so if you want the tips on how to implement these three things uh, you can download the worksheet for this week this worksheet will show you uh, videos on how to implement all three things okay so how to implement the daily game how to implement monitoring and how to implement reporting including inside here is also templates also a schedule also a video step by step to go through why certain things are being done all right so all this training is already inside there download the worksheet and then start doing it and you will see your team members replying super fast to your clients okay so let's summarize today's um session okay we we know that there's this new wanted now customer culture and this dictates the terms how small businesses act and uh, react and engage and reply to your customers because the standards has increased okay number two speed has the biggest impact on customer satisfaction like i mentioned earlier there was that um there was that study that was done speed you want your team members to reply fast engage fast be motivated all right and the fast replies triangle model um you know what let me share with you what that triangle model looks like all right here it is so if you want fast replies if you want a motivated team you want to play an inbox zero game you want to have monitoring and you want to have reporting so this triangle if you implement it right now if you you will see the impact on your speed of reply impacted immediately you don't have to wait for weeks within days you can see it being impacted because human beings are naturally um they naturally want to be self motivated they naturally want other team members to support them and they want to be acknowledged for the work the good work that they do right so all these strings these three things will help with that so remember to download the worksheet speed for the win you will get a summary of the triangle model and then you can download uh three other trainings where we'll cover how to create a, a daily game also another training on uh, easy reporting and how to do monitoring and leadership in today's environment okay so remember to do that don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel it really helps we're trying to get to 1000 subscribers this year so your help would be very appreciated all right so i end it here my name is kalif thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye